Well, it's great to have you along here. Thanks for looking in. Thursday, June the 6th here at Canada's Weather Network. Uh, boy, it was active yesterday in parts of Ontario. You can see some of those storm clouds. Uh, and that's where we had actually some damage reports around the Sarnia area uh, with some tree limbs down, but uh, certainly some intense thunderstorms rolling. West to east, not as problematic uh, in through the greater Toronto area, uh, but certainly it was an active day. And you know what? We have yet again uh, the risk for some thunderstorms, although the focus primarily will be well into the eastern sections of the province. Hello, my name is Anwar Knight. Thanks for looking in. This is the area where we have the greatest risk of severe limit storms, hail, strong winds, heavy downpours. Some areas may even pick up some large hail. Depends how much daytime heating we get. Uh, but this is going to be the big story today across the country in, in terms of the most active weather. Your forecast across the region, we have some rain uh, already this morning in Ottawa. Risk of thunderstorms, it'll be in the afternoon. I'll show you that in just a moment. 23 in Toronto, just a risk of a shower. 25 in Windsor, 15 degrees in Thunder Bay. As we move through into Atlantic Canada, this same low that has been there for about a week continues to spiral some energy. It's not a heavy rain, it's just more of a nuisance rain. It's the drizzle, the showers, and the cool conditions. Uh, we will see another push of moisture coming in from another system as we get into Friday uh, late afternoon, and that'll move west to east. So an unsettled pattern, but the forecast in terms of temperatures Still quite nice uh, for you into the Maritimes. Look at that, 21 in Halifax, 22 in Moncton, mainly sunny skies, 17 in Charlottetown, 11 degrees in St. John's. Hey, this may be your first, you know, 11 degree day so far this month. Uh, you've, yesterday you were close, you were 10.9 uh, and then cooler uh, beyond that. I guess you, I don't need to remind you. Uh, you know what you're dealing with. 12 degrees in Gander, 14 in Corner Brook, St. Anthony, 8 degrees with cloudy skies. As you move across the prairies, the core of the moisture is well to the north. What you will see that's more of a widespread event, uh, and you'll feel the wind gusts, uh, that's for sure. But look at this energy here. Some of it starts to spiral through into Friday. Very spotty activity. A little bit further down to the south, there may be some isolated thunderstorms. Again, that's for tomorrow evening. For today, uh, it's the wind. And you'll see, you know, upwards 60, maybe approaching 70 kilometers an hour. Uh, that's just before lunchtime for you in Regina. And then as we get into the afternoon, as the kids get set to come home from school, again, exceeding 70 kilometers an hour. So not as gusty as yesterday, but still it's going to be uh, pronounced. And this will even continue to to some extent through Friday's forecast. See that trough line pushing south and that'll be sort of the trigger for some of the other active weather in terms of some thunderstorms. But look at this, just 16 on the board in Winnipeg, well below where you should be. Uh, about seven degrees cooler than the norm. Sunshine, 19 in Saskatoon, 21 in Calgary. That's actually warmer than you should be. And then across uh, Vancouver and Victoria, sunshine and temperatures above seasonal. In fact, that's the trend. Now we've talked about the heat dome into the U.S. Southwest. That is nosing northward, so that'll be a trend. But this is your forecast across BC. Pretty pleasant day overall. And let me show you what the seven day forecast looks like in Vancouver. So you should be uh, around 19 degrees. We got 23 for tomorrow, 25 on Saturday. And then it starts to cool down a little bit as we get into next week. We'll have more here on Canada's Weather Network.